This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. And you're located in New Hampshire, part of the Free State Project. Uh, what were you doing prior to uh, to going to the Free State? You mean professionally? Correct. Uh, I just worked at a TV station. I, I worked at a Fox affiliate in Dallas, and I'd been there for about six years when I when I moved to New Hampshire. And I just stayed at Fox when I moved. I didn't have to really switch jobs exactly. I mean, I got the my paycheck looked exactly the same. It was a, almost the same amount. It was a different station. It was all, it was all owned by Fox, and I was well treated at both both places uh, right up until the moment they fired me for being an activist. <laughs> They actually fired. Did they? Did they say it that way? No. Well, yes. <laughs> and then technically, they weren't firing me because I was a freelancer in uh, Boston at the time. But they, um, uh, one day, they just didn't renew my. I guess you might call it a monthly contract. I guess would be, which would be kind of what a freelancer is on. Uh, one day, they just, they just didn't renew it. No warning. They just didn't renew it. And um, I called to find out what was going on. They admitted to me right, right there on the phone. Yeah. It, this is because of certain activism that you've done. We have a problem with it. They hadn't said anything about it before, but uh, you know, we're not mad at you. We're just we're, we're concerned that the station could be associated with this activism. And the activism they were most concerned about was the most controversial thing I've ever done, and that was my um, uh, visit to the um, to the Ed Brown house. I don't know if you're familiar with the Brown situation, but there was a standoff oh, yeah. in Northern New Hampshire, and I went to the house twice in the middle of the standoff. Um, and they didn't like that, even though they had gone to the house too. So, but I just they thought that maybe they thought I was too close to Ed. I had known him for a long time. He was one of the first people who welcomed me to the, to the state. He's a little nutty, but he had certain human rights, you know. And uh, so, anyway, that got me in trouble at work and got me booted out. Um, they even admitted in writing that they had they had done it because of my activism, and they invited me to apply back again after six months if it had all blown over or whatever. Uh, but it, it, that that never really worked out. So it's kind of complicated. Wow. I have no real hard feelings because they had treated me well every minute I was there. They don't have a responsibility to continue employing me. Uh, but it was not what I would have done if I had been in their position. Uh, we should, if if we have an unlimited quantity of time, we should probably talk about the Ed Brown thing because that's a, a topic on its own. But uh, but for the moment now. Uh, you also did some journalism in Europe during the uh, the Bosnian conflict over there, right? Yeah, I was there briefly. I speak uh, Croatian. Uh, I don't have like an ethnic link, but I just became obsessed with the situation. Uh, you know, when I was a twenty-something, and that that was all getting started up. To me, um, the Yugoslav wars were kind of like an echo of World War II, and I was had been had been real interested in World War II, so. I, I felt like I had a chance to see some history repeating, and it sure did repeat. I was putting together some notes for an upcoming podcast on that topic, and, uh, you know, I hate to say it, uh, but I was really busy in the 90s, you know, working, earning a living, trying to feed my children and so forth, and I knew what was going on was really messed up, but I almost intentionally didn't follow along because... You, you know, things like that can be painful the more you know about them. No, can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM Feds don't want you to hear them.